Tag along, man. Keep me company, man. Check it out, Ace. Ace. Hey. hey, what's up to the camera? Yeah, I'm going to talk so shit today. But, uh, yeah, we heading out here, man. We'll tap back in with you in a second, man. Get a little closer, man. So, back on my way home, after, uh, seeing the doc, uh, he actually just pushed it back in, uh, but I've noticed uh, she was in here trying to strain inside the inside the uh, she was in there trying to. I guess she tried to use the bathroom again, and I think it popped back out. So tomorrow I go to my uh, my uh, vet, and uh, they're gonna proceed surgery on her. So we're gonna have her that like that. And, uh, we'll go from there with that but, uh, as far as everything else everything else is good appreciate you guys watching and tapping in uh, please click on that subscribe button if you haven't already man please share please like everything please appreciate that um, get headed back on the road back to, to the house man She's on my mind, heaven, heaven, heaven. Like, like I'm hoping everything's okay, but she, she should be good till the morning. Yeah, it's called a erect prolapse, I think, or anal prolapse. I'm not sure, something like that. Um, it's nothing good to see. Like, you don't want to see this. This is nothing to be showing on the camera. I want. I don't want to see it. So I'm sure you guys don't want to see it either. But, um, these are the trials and tribulations of the dog breeding game. Everybody thinks the dog breeding game is easy. Um, it can cost you a pretty penny, man. Just like that. That, that was a, like, a ride. And, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it can be pretty, it can cost you a lot. But, um, I think it's just uh, probably be making money, making dollars, clocking money all the time. Nah, no, it's, it's, it's investment, man. So you got to keep up with your craft, man. And with that being said, when, when you have problems like this, it can pop up out of anywhere. I was trying to see if it was a, if it was a genetic thing or it was a, just something personal with the dog, man. One of the vet techs I talked to, she said it's probably a, uh, it's probably a uh, genetic, it's a thing that goes on with the bullies and the Frenchies, the smaller dogs. So, I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to carry it, but I'm definitely going to get that thing taken care of, man. So, we can keep moving with that, but, uh, as far as anything else, man, keep tapping in, tapping in, checking my videos out, man. We'll be, we'll be recording, man. I'll be updating on it. I, I can't say a daily because it's hard. It's hard to keep up with a lot of dogs and, and, and keep up with a camera. So 
I do what I can, man. As far as, until I get my team stronger, I do what I can. So, tap back in with us. Back at it again, Tri City Cane Corsos. This is day number two, man. Um, I should have been recording earlier, but I was so busy trying to hit the road, man, and get to my vet and uh, take selfie to get this procedure done. So we finally made it out there, man. We went and got the procedure done. We had surgery and everything. Everything went wonderful. Uh, we see how she bounces back from this, man. Uh, yeah, yesterday I took her out and uh, I took her to my other friend that's a vet. He doesn't do that type of surgery work. Um, he pushed the prolapse back in but on the way back home she ended up pushing it back out before we even made it home so today we had the proper procedure done which is uh surgery uh, everything went well and um i even took Kano and got him checked out and uh yeah they was telling me man they gave me some um uh, infection pills just in case he has infection in his uh with the with the fungus thing whatever going on with his foot so we're trying to figure out that man and cross our fingers man I hope everything's i hope everything's good with it man uh, yeah he's doing pretty good man he, but he's hopping around i mean i see a lot of liquid on the on the wound a lot of liquid he's licking it a lot and and um it has a lot of uh, it's wet around the wound so i'm i'm not knowing if that's the fungal being released from the wound and hopefully everything's getting better man so vet gave me some pills um some pills called uh clavomax um take that for 10 days and see where we get with that man because uh if this swelling doesn't go down man let's hope we, we don't have any bad news but hopefully this swelling goes down and everybody shoot for a recovery man uh, i'll see i'll see what these two do man i got selfie with me and i got kano with me man just left the vet man so Thanks for tapping in, guys, man. Stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.